Welcome to Auto Auction Flips. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and push that notification button. Boop. Today we're going to talk about partnerships. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Are you ready? Let's do this, man. One. Two. to the chase. Is a partnership a good idea? Well, that all depends on your situation. In my past, I've had very good partners and I've had the worst of the worst of the worst partners. You see, in partnerships, there's no middleman. There's no in-between. You either have a great partner or a sucky partner. What I can tell you about my failed partnerships. We were never on the same level. I was always up here. They was always down there. And the thing is, you can't bring them up where you're at. But they can always bring you down where they are. So if you're not on the same level as your potential partner, don't do it. Unfortunately, all my failed partnerships started with desperation from me. I needed a partner. I need someone to help me out. And I thought in my mind that the only way that I could get someone to help me out and truly put their heart, soul, and mind in it is give them a piece of my business. And that was the absolute worst mistake because I dug all the trenches. I made everything successful. But that desperation, I'm going to do this. But what I should have done, and folks, uh, I lost hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of dollars bringing a certain person into my business that they didn't deserve it. They didn't deserve it at all. He was working at Walmart. And I thought a long friendship meant something. It means nothing. It means absolutely crap. So, I mean, the whole thing is, folks, be wary. Don't be desperate to bring someone in, especially if you're already successful. Um, the correct way that I should have did it was I pay them like a partner, keep them as an employee, but pay them like a partner. That means if they screw up or if they start doing stuff wrong, I can get rid of them quick and easy. But if they're a partner, you cannot get rid of them. After that failed partnership, I was down on my luck and I partnered up with another guy. Uh, and we did this from scratch. I mean, we both didn't have a lot, but we started this from absolute scratch. We started um, the Fighting Lobster Auto Sales in Port Orange, Florida, and we were building quick. We got along. We were on the same level. Uh, and what I knew more, he let me go. What he knew more, I let him go. Uh, it, it, it was a match made in heaven. And we were building and building and building and building. And he was actually looking at Ferraris right before he passed away from COVID-19. And that killed everything. And um, so there are partnerships that absolutely work. And absolutely, if you dig the ditches together... If you come up together, it will work just fine. Rest in peace, Mike. After that, folks, went into another partnership. And the car lot was called Top Gun Auto Sales. And we rented a place. We applied for the license. We got the license. 
but something just wasn't right. Like I just felt that this guy was using me because he really didn't know anything about anything. And um, I, uh, I basically pulled out um, because of that and other reasons that I don't want to go into right now, but it was kind of weird. But uh, I, I just didn't want to be partners with them, and I pulled out right after we got the license for Top Gun Auto Sales. I didn't, just just didn't feel right, and I was right. He was always wishy-washy, uh, always, uh, it's like a, I mean, I mean he was like bipolar, uh, just excited one, one day and totally miserable the next day, and long story folks maybe i will get into it one day but that one total trash one more funny fact me and that guy we actually looked at this property here and this property looked like ugh, trash it was an old house on here that was torn down it was just uh it, it, it just looked bad but i felt it here i felt it here and he says no, this place is terrible. It will never make it. It's too small. Well, motherfucker, it made it. <laughs> so at the end of the day, is a partnership a good idea? It is a very good idea if you find the right person. If you find the right person that will help you dig the ditches from scratch, will go through the good and bad times with you, unfazed, still friends, no attitude, no bipolar conditions, you got a good partner. Equal. Remember that. You got to be equal. They can't be down here and you be up here. Uh-uh. If they come to you and are, are y'all are friends and you have the money to open it and they have the knowledge, screw the knowledge. <laughs> open it yourself and learn. But if they have just as much money as you do to put in and y'all both know a little bit about cars, then absolutely dig the ditches. But be cautious. Be cautious. And last but not least, at the start, you get a attorney. Have them draw up your contract. It's going to be five to eight hundred dollars to do that. Uh, you hire a accountant. And I know it's a pain in the ass, but when you get a bank account, y'all both go on that bank account. And if anything over five hundred dollars, both of you have to sign to get it out. And that could be a pain sometimes, but that is a must. Um, do everything right. Do everything by the book. If you do that, and I know it's easy to cut corners. It's easy to cut corners. But you can't, especially in a partnership, because that will ruin it. Do everything by the book everything by the law and you'll be a-okay honesty is the best policy